One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, good evening, Nineveh. Hello, good evening. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Fine. Awesome. It's going no. awesome. Great. Come on. I want no. to see your energy right now. Your energy. I'm I'm hyper. Today. I, I, I my energy is a little down. I have a a busy, busy day. <laughs> I had a I had a busy day. Repeat. I had a busy day. Yeah. I had a busy day. I had a busy day. Excellent. <laughs> well, that's good. It's better but than. I, I try to <laughs> wake up. Wake up. <laughs> yes, it's better than being at home all day. You know. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yes, I had to work in home, but I had to to went to Sebastian in the middle. Okay, middle. repeat. I had to go. I had I to go. go. I had to go. Mm -hmm. To go to Sebastian. To Sebastian. Uh, mm -hmm. For the near to Mosa and was uh, <laughs> the the war. <laughs> The the traffic or or oh. the traffic. Um, I had to to wait uh, to no around three hours in in this place and return quickly from my home for uh, come back to work. <laughs> oh, so I had yeah. to to work one more hour, one oh, more hour. hour. Wow, <laughs> wow. Okay, but well, you made it. You made it, and that's good. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Vadi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going, Vadi? Um, I'm well, I'm good, teacher. Fine. Okay. Hello. Okay, hello, Jarvin. Hello, teacher. How, how are you tonight? Mm, better. better. I have a. I have a. Yes, I have a difficult weekend. Oh, really? Me too. It was really, really, really difficult. It was tough, heavy. It was really heavy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't feel my day off because. I had to uh, create a video for um, a certification, a certification that I'm taking, and I had to finish it yesterday. So I finished it. I spent the whole Sunday creating that video, editing that video. It was difficult, but guess what? Yes. It was amazing. Um, they loved it. They really. really? <laughs> Yeah, they they love it. They they said it was a good experience to see me teaching live, you know, because okay. I mean when I when I teach live, guys, I try to be like, come on, do it, come on, Max, hey, what's up? Go ahead, you know, 
repeat, repeat, okay? And I'm gonna try, I will try today to keep this energy because I'm very happy right now. I'm tired, I'm tired, but I'm very hyper right now. So let's start the class, let's start the class. I want to hear you, hear you giving me synonyms, okay? Is there another way to say I'm tired? I'm spent. Go to the chat. I can sound. Go in the Zoom chat. Uh huh. Like I'm tired. Very good, buddy. Beautiful Spanish. Love it. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Max, you said. I'm spent. I'm spent. I've never heard spent. I'm spent. There's another word, and you said it on Friday. Like when you're. When you're like, like this, when, you when you're like this uh -huh. in a bench, you said it. Think, Wasted. think, think. Yes, type it, type Wasted. it. Yep. Go ahead, type it. I'm burned out. Beautiful, be like that. Yeah, I'm burned out. Man, I'm burned. You can also say I'm burned. I'm burned. I'm wasted. I'm burnt out. Uh huh. Come on, Nineveh, buddy. Jarvin, I want to see you typing on the chat. Come on, give me options. Let's find ways to say I'm tired. I cannot I, find it. I don't feel something. good. I don't feel good. Is oh, if you're on the keyboard. My right keyboard up. is in English. Oh, good. But the computer agency is in Spanish. Oh, so it's either whether it is the, the, the key on top of the tab key or right above the question mark, right next to the enter key on your right. It's the okay. hyphen. That's the hyphen. Okay, don't worry. Oh, well, if you have the hyphen there, Oh, so that should be number nine, if I remember correctly. Try number nine or number zero. Um, thank you. <laughs> okay, I feel down. I don't feel good. That sounds more like when you are sick, right? If you're sick, you say, I don't feel good. I feel down. What about I'm down? I had enough. I had enough. Head and off of this. Hmm. I just finished a conference. I just finished a conference with La OIT with that certification. It was amazing. Amazing. I'm exhausted. Okay. Now, look at the examples. I, when, I was expecting that. Thank you, Violeta. I'm exhausted. The reason I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm burned. Exhausted. exhausted. I'm burned. I'm done. Now, this, all of those examples, when you have a subject, the verb to be, and a past participle, guess what? That is the passive voice. Hmm. Okay. We're going to talk about the passive voice today. It's going to be very interesting. So I want I to start. Have, I have been burned. Uh, that's when you get burned with um, with the oven, I don't know, with the uh, stove. You're cooking and, and you get And for say burned. I'm tired, I have been tired the whole afternoon. Okay, that's an experience. The whole afternoon, I, I've been tired. I've been tired. We're, 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 we're out. Worn out. Worn I'm out. worn out. Yeah. Um. Can remember. Um. Worn out. But that's when estoy usado. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I heard another, that. Another one. You can say weary. 
You can say what? You can say you're weary. Weary. I'm weary. Weary. I remember that in a song, I think. I can, can you, yep. Weary, I'm weary. I remember that from a song, but I can't remember the song right yeah, now. Yeah, me neither. I, I, I do too, I do too. Ah, okay. And yes, that it specifically means I'm tired. The meaning of that is specifically I'm tired. Okay, guys, so that's like a in, little intro to what we're about to talk today. Let's start the class by watching the video, but I want you to take pen and paper or pencil and paper, pay close attention, and let's get some vocabulary. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Try to catch vocabulary, verbs specifically, more verbs than anything. What I will do, what I would like to do is slow down. Let's see how it sounds, okay? I'm going to slow down the speed on this video. And I also want to turn on the, the closed caption. Let me see if there's a way. Close caption, close caption. God, no. Let's see. Hi, welcome again. We recommend for you to watch the following video and pay attention to it because you will listen to all the topics we'll study in this section. Remember, you may watch the video as many times as you need to. Sit back and relax. One of the most remote nations on earth threatened by rising water levels has today experienced the damaging impact of what's known as a king tide. Tuvalu is a small group of islands 10,000 miles and 11 time zones away in the South Pacific. Islanders fear that the area could disappear within 50 years if action isn't taken over climate change. Well, our environment correspondent, David Shukman, has travelled to the islands and we can join David there now. Hugh, thank you. It's a stormy time here in the heat of the South Pacific. Just the combination of high tides and strong winds that people dread because Tuvalu is so low in the water it really does run the risk of becoming the first country to fall victim to the way our climate is now changing. Incredibly beautiful but incredibly vulnerable. The fragile strips of green that make up this country only just break the surface of the ocean. But for how much longer? The mighty waves of the Pacific pound the shoreline during what's called a king tide, the highest tides of the year, and the effects can be devastating. This is the island's main road. I mean, we've never seen this in the past, uh, water coming all the way up to this far. And our house is just up behind us. But the water also surges up from underground through the coral the islands are built on. In the space of an hour, the lowest areas are all flooded. Everyone feels the impact. This priest steps carefully through the waters on his way to conduct a funeral. The higher the king tides get, the harder it is to keep things going here. So can you grow anything here? No. Because it's too salty? Yeah, too salty. Okay. The seawater is poisoning the soil and people are nervous. It makes me feel scary. So what will happen to us in 10 years time? 
This isn't like other floods that I've covered with a single catastrophic event. Instead, it's a creeping process with this seawater flowing up into the heart of these islands and slowly, but effectively, killing them off. The water bubbles up in tiny streams and everywhere you look, it just lies on the surface. And the problem is getting worse. At the harbour, the rising swell is monitored by an Australian system. The measurements go back 15 years. And at the local Met office, they say the king tides are getting higher, a trend forecast to continue. In prediction, the next five to ten years, the king tide getting worse and getting higher than normal, then most of the coastal areas would be washed out. The implications are alarming. A typical high tide reaches about two and a half meters. A king tide like now can be more than three. The UN climate panel forecasts a rise of another half meter when the highest point is only about four and a half meters. Now for Tuvalu, each scenario would cost precious land. Only a small rise would see parts of the island go under, perhaps even the runway, a lifeline to the outside world. How long have you got? Not more than 50 years. In fact, some of the islands have already disappeared. Please help us. You cause climate change. You know, the pull of the pace principle must apply. You must give, set up a global fund to which these islands can come and tap into to build their resilience, to build their capacity, their education, technology, and all that, and restore what the damage has been done. People here say there must be a technological fix if a rich country like Dubai can build entirely new islands, especially since these are so narrow, you can cross from one side to the other in a few short paces. The problem, they're founded on coral, which is porous. Saving these islands will cost a fortune. <laughs> for the children of Tuvalu, the floods are fun. But for them to lead their lives on these islands will require massive international support. And with just 11,000 people here, Will the outside world think it's worth it? Now, of course, Tuvalu does get some aid, but not nearly enough to keep the rising sea at bay. So the international community faces very soon a difficult choice of whether to draw a line between those who get saved and those who don't. And in the meantime, People here are getting ready for another king tide. It's right now it's low. It's due to get very high in about eight hours time. Back to you in the studio. David, thank you very much. David Schuchman there, our environment correspondent uh, in Tuvalu. Okay. So, what do you got? I think this is a lot of kings, the pronunciation kings, is weird. Tides. Okay, wait, uh, both... one at a time. Who was, uh, uh, okay, Violeta, ladies first. Okay, good, Violeta. Kiwi, uh, king Tides, uh, I found it as, as a, a real big tide. How do you spell Tide? Tide. Tide. T I D E. Oh, Tide. King Tides. But is 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 uh is one together. Word. It's one word. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So King Tides are huge waves. Yes, no. Huge tide. 
What is a tide? Isn't it a wave? No. No. Tide. Tide is. Marea. Marea. Oh. Okay. Good. And Good. the other word is over climbing change. Mm. Climbing. Climbing. Like, right, because this comes from climate. Right? Climate and climbing. Oh, so I don't know how to. I think you're right. Yes, over climbing change. Change. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it means. I think it's for the. The climate change. For the weather. The weather changing. Yeah, totally. And those, those two words only. Those are the only two concepts that you were able to, to catch. Yes. What do you think about their accent? They, they are very British. They're very British. Because <laughs> uh, they are near to Australia. Oh, that sounds different. Yeah, there's Australian accent differs a little bit from, from British accent. This one is a little bit more understandable, you may say. Now let's see. Okay, Max. Um, they, they, it was hard to get a lot of words, mm, mostly with the guy that was asking for help. Oh, that oh. guy speaks really weird. Okay. And I understood that it was they were from Australia. They were close, right? Uh huh. I got some praises. Mm -hmm. For example, when they when they were speaking about the king tide, they said that the island just barely breaks the surface, the surface of the ocean. What do you what do you understand by that? Uh, that the island is not that high. Right, exactly. So they did, I mean, a huge wave could cover the island in yeah. some portions. Yeah. I got the word fluted. That it's polluted. like that. Polluted. Fluted. Or flu oh, fluted, fluted, yeah. From fluid. So you have a fluid inundation. Yeah. Flooded, flooded. I got the this one slowly but eff effectively. Slowly but effectively. How, how will you classify this? Slowly but effectively. Is that a comparison? That one has a contrast, maybe. Yes, it is a contrast. Very good. It is a contrast, slowly, but effectively. Lifeline. Lifeline. You, you can also say lifespan. Have you, know, uh, have you heard that? Lifespan, yeah. yeah I didn't true. know what lifeline is. I, I, uh, I was thinking the lifeline is like, I don't know. In the course the of time. The, the, the light the line between the ocean and the and the island mm, that's the shore yeah wait line between the oh, ocean lifeline is like lifespan yeah lifeline the course of time it's just the course of time okay yeah very good at the end mm -hmm. uh, a last one who gets saved and who don't <laughs> he said done, right? Who gets safe and who doesn't? Who doesn't? I know the, uh, the lady what? said some that he was a scary. Yeah, that's mispronunciations. Now, number one, mispronunciations. Number two, slang. Slang. Right. Yeah. Do, do you have TikTok? TikTok? No. No, no, not TikTok. Well, you should have TikTok and, and look into um, 
um, English, English teachers, English examples. I was actually learning or understanding that there's a ghetto, a ghetto way of speaking. Yeah, just ghetto. like here. Even worse, um, because they use the verb to be for everything. And I didn't get it. I didn't want to get into my vocabulary, you know, those words, but it's really weird. And they understand, they understand each other, you know. So, okay, yeah. who gets saved and who don't, who doesn't? This is a clear example, who don't? Who don't? don't. Who don't? Who doesn't? I'm using YouTube for that. Yeah. And I can't remember what the name of that video. Okay. Anybody else? Vadi, Jarvin, Nineveh? Modeling, drinking water, alcohol. What are you drinking? Okay. Elvis? <laughs> Veronica? Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi, fine teacher. Sorry, I'm I'm late. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, words that I was able to cat to catch uh, were threatened, threatened, and that's what the woman was trying to say. I feel scary. No, I feel threatened. I feel threatened by by the waves, by the weather. It really does run the risk of disappearing. It really does run the risk of disappearing, the island. It really does run the risk of disappearing. Um, it can be devastated. That's part of the passive voice. This can be devastated. The island can be devastated. In a space of an hour, in a space of an hour, let me know if you are not understanding this little phrases, okay? In a space of an hour. Displeased. Uh, Violeta, are you pleased with the class so far? Are you pleased with the class? Right now, yes. Excellent. Um, have you ever have you ever been displeased with the class? No. Okay. No. I, do, do you understand the, the concept of yes. pleased and displeased? Yes. Okay. Displeased. Yeah, like, ah, oh, no. this sucks. No, I don't <laughs> like that. Okay, displeased. To grow something, did you did you understand that? Can you grow, Veronica, can you grow sandias in your yard? Can you grow sandias in your yard? No, no. Um, I only have a, I don't know, romero. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say, I only have uh, an apple tree. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't what have a jar. You don't, you don't have a jar? I don't have a jar too. I have a hotchkey, remember? Yeah. So I don't have plants. <laughs> okay, floods. Only two cactus. <laughs> two cactus. Okay. Flood. Floods? No, floods. Floods. Who can tell me what, what does floods mean? Uh, Jarvin, Vadi, Madeline? Elvis, what is floods? Floods, Jarvin, Madeline, Veronica, Vadi, Elvis. No, I don't know. I don't know? Okay, inundaciones. Um. Right? Okay, bubbles up in tiny streets. What do you understand by that? The water, water bubbles up in tiny streets. I didn't understand that, that verb, but I, I got the idea. Teacher, I can see the old page, the old. The whole page, you, you whole, cannot see it? The oh. whole screen. You cannot see the whole screen. Uh, what do we do, what do we do? How do we do this? Um, let me try to cut and paste and see if that works and go part by part. This is the only thing that Thank I can you. think of. Don't worry. You cannot read well. Really? Yeah. Cut it out the, all the vowels. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do yes. right now. I'm gonna go part by part really quick so you can see it. Okay, I was finishing with this part first. 
Here we go. Okay, oops. Okay, uh, the first part. You see that? It says threatened. No. It really does run the risk of. Black line at the left. Black yes, line on the left. Continue, continue. With what? No, continue because I, I don't, I, I cannot read it. Yeah. Okay. All the, all the classmates read it well, but I cannot. Oh, oh I'm sorry, dear. Sorry to hear There's that. A, a black line. There is a black line. Yes. Oh. There is a black line. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Put it, put it all the, the words. Don't worry, I'm going to do something better instead of to get rid of this right away. Okay, hopefully you can see it. I will just send the, the image to your WhatsApp so you can read the notes that I barely was able to type. Um, okay, so that's what you use uh, video, any video, you know, that's the way you should use it. Get the vocabulary, understand what is it for. Okay, now let's move on with the grammar. Let's continue. In this lesson, pound or target language in this lesson is the passive with prepositions. So before we cover this, I would like to hear from you your examples. Do you remember the passive boys? Yes. No. Excellent. Let's see. Really quick. Really, really quick. Okay, who can give me an example of the passive voice? Um, today I see, I, I, I see one. Is is oh. that um, uh, the book uh, doesn't remind by customer, but uh -huh, something like that. Hold on, the book doesn't. Remain. Okay. Remain. Remain, sir. Remain. Uh -huh. Remain. By the customer in your country. Hmm. This is passive boy. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Because you no. Know, in past, okay. remind. Uh, oh, I don't know. Remember. You don't remember? No, that's not an example of passing boys. Come on. Okay, sorry. That's okay, don't worry, don't say sorry. It's okay. We are learning. Somebody else, anybody can give me an example of the passive voice? The other day, uh, I, I got my cell phone stolen. Excellent, okay. Mm. Mm. Almost. My was. Oh my watch was stolen by yeah, there you go was stolen there you go okay my cell phone was stolen any other look at the structure so let me go straight to this uh first you have an object not a subject an object that acts as a subject right object plus the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. Participle, participle of the verb. So, okay, a book. My. Go ahead. This is the most popular example when somebody talks about the, the passive voice. A book? Ah, uh, was writing. Written, written. Written. A book was, was written. written. Now keep in keep an eye on this. Was, was is will be has been. Come on, help me. Has been. Has been. Had been. Had etc. been. Etc. Okay. Yeah. To be. Okay. You work with the verb to be. 
you move it in any time, okay. in any tense that you need it. So if you need it in present, past, you know, whatever, you can do it that way. You move the verb to be to the tense that you need. Uh, so a book was, is, will be, has been, had been, and then you have written. A book was written, a book is written, a book will be written, a book has been written, a book had been written. Can somebody really quick, let me test you guys. I want you to participate and tell me what grammar tenses do you have there in the verb to be? What's this movie? Have been. Come on. In order. Yeah, doesn't matter. Go ahead. I will point. I will point to it. Simple huh? past. Okay, simple past. Present. 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 Future. Future, yeah. Present Porque perfect. No Present Complete. perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. <clears throat> okay. Now. My we're... students are. I... My student has been in class all day. My students, now that will be. Hmm. Has been. Has been in class all day. Okay, that is not passive voice. Let's see. My students have been in class the whole day. So. Madeline, keep an eye on this. Yes, it's okay. No, but it's, here, it's you need a verb in the past participle after the verb to be. Mm. So here is your conjugation, reason. Here is your conjugation of the verb to be. And this verb is present perfect. This is present That's perfect. Okay, let's talk about your students, okay? My students, what could you say about your students? Have been... In class the whole day. No. Nope. My students have been suspended. Oh. Suspended. Suspended. Yep. Suspended. Why suspended? <laughs> okay, dismissed. They have been I don't suspicious. know the word dismiss. Let go. Bye. My students have been dismissed. Dismiss. What's the meaning? What is the meaning? Dismiss. A storm is coming and they have been dismissed. Go by. Go go to your house. I'm sorry. Go back to your house. But it's a this is other way. Dismissed. Or other other no. Madeline, when you finish a class, you say class dismissed. Bye bye. But, but I told you my student has been in class all day. It's, okay. it's opposite. Right. Exacto, Madeline. Esto sería in class the whole day sería una oración en presente perfecto nada más. El pasado, eh, la, la voz pasiva se forma utilizando un objeto, un sujeto, en este caso, my students, they. Luego, la forma conjugada del verbo to be que se quiera utilizar. ¿Ok? Aquí está conjugado el verbo to be en presente perfecto, pero después de esto, necesito un verbo Evelyn, saca eso de en pasado no participio. ¿Ok? No meto los juguetes a la mitad. Ok. Violeta, your microphone. Okay. Perdón. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry. don't worry. <laughs> Ay, mi niño, a los That's cinco classical. años, venimos de, no, a los tres años, mi niño menor, venimos del súper, agarra la, el tubo de pasta y me dice que ella, mira, se llevó el tubo de pasta. Ay, deja lo que voy a jugar, lo que guardamos las cosas. Cinco doritos después, lo vengo a buscar y toda la pasta dentro del tomacorrientes. Había repellado a la pared. Ay, cosas que pasan. Ok, so, Madeline, volviendo. Sujeto, miremos el, el, la, la estructura, ok. Tengo un objeto, el verbo to be, conjugado en el tiempo gramatical que yo necesite, Madeline. 
como regla principal, siempre voy a tener el verbo en pasado participio. Por lo tanto, esta oración solo sería una oración en presente perfecto, Madeline. ¿Ok? Yes. There you go. Ok. So, el ejemplo anterior. A book is written. Esta es la voz pasiva, ¿ok? Ok, ahora podría decir en voz activa cómo sería esta oración. Por cierto, en la voz pasiva, por lo usual, no interesa el sujeto. A book is written by Madeline. Ok. Un libro está escrito, es escrito, perdón, un libro es escrito por Madeline, un libro fue escrito por Madeline, un libro será escrito por Madeline, un libro ha sido escrito por Madeline, un libro había sido escrito por Madeline. Ok. Madeline. Ah, uh, right. my children has had been seen. Had, had been. Had been seen. Near from my school. Have been seen. Seen. Sí. A, a, a sign. Habían sido vistos. Have oh, been have seen. been seen. Yes. Have been seen near from my school. By my no, salimos del contexto. Okay. No. No, no, no. Okay. No. Had been seen. Habían sido vistos. Without the uniform. Without the uniform. Okay, sí, ahí sí, vamos a ver. Yes. So my students had been seen without their uniform. Okay. Aquí, by yes. the principal. Yes, yes, I... Ahí estás. My students had been seen by without the their yeah. uniforms by the principal. Wow. Okay. Yes. Aquí mm -hmm. está la voz pasiva, had been seen. Yes. Okay. The song. The song, was, writing by me. The song was played. Excellent. But writing, but writing was written, me. written. Okay. Written. The written. song was written by me. By me. Entonces, la voz pasiva no le interesa. El, el doer, el, el que hace la acción, no le interesa la voz pasiva. Porque ya de por sí está diciendo la song, la canción fue escrita. Que es lo que importa, ¿no? La canción fue escrita. ¿Quién lo hizo? Eh, ok. By me. Ok. Siempre se va a ocupar ese by, si se quiere decir que no hizo. Ahora sí, ¿nos acordamos de la voz pasiva? Bien. Um, Elvis, ¿podrías pasar esa oración a voz activa? Let me check. <laughs> uh, the, the song. Mm -mm. Uh, no. uh -huh. I wrote the song. Perfect. <laughs> I wrote the song. Respetando el hecho de que estamos hablando en voz pasiva en pasado. Uh -huh. Eso quiere decir que en la oración original en voz activa iba en pasado simple. I wrote the song. Ok, uh -huh. my student, no, uh, the principal saw my students without their uniforms. ¿Qué dice el público? It's ok. <laughs> the principal, the principal saw, saw, saw. The, my student without their uniforms. What do you think, guys? Is that, is, act, is that right? That's fast. Yes. It's fast, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like that. It's so, okay or not. Yes. So the student without their uniforms. Totally. It's more complex, modeling. It's more complex, but it's okay. You got it. Okay, the song was written by me. I wrote a song. Okay. Um, Another example. The song so, will be 
written by me. Will be written by me. Okay. Bien, ¿cómo yo ubico la voz pasiva? Pues identifica el objeto de la oración en el tiempo en el que está escrito. Aquí, pues, I wrote the song, número uno, identifico el objeto. ¿Cuál es el objeto? The song. Esa viene a ser el sujeto de la oración en la voz pasiva. Identifico el tiempo gramatical en el que está la, la, la oración. En este caso está en pasado, pues voy a ocupar el verbo to be en pasado. Y el verbo principal lo voy a ocupar en pasado participio. Y ya tengo la voz pasiva. Importa el doer. Si lo quiero agregar, pues pongo by. Ok. Y el doer como objeto. Cuidado con eso. El sujeto se convierte en un objeto. Pronombre. Object pronoun. Ok. Good. Verónica. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> It's your face okay. like. <laughs> Está bien. Sorry. Siento que le estoy entendiendo, pero creo que chino estoy viendo, dice. Okay. Good guys. Okay, let's go with the next um, part of the class, which is passive with prepositions. Let's pay attention. It's very short. This is very short. Does passive do? It describes an action. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Hold on a minute. I'm taking a screenshot and sending it to your WhatsApp right now. So you won't be able to read, most likely. Are you able to read what it says? No, teacher. Okay, I'm sending you the image right now. Thank you. There you go. Okay, it's on your WhatsApp, the image, okay? Thank you. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. Okay, in case you want to take note, or in fact, again, let me send you this image. Your screen will be grayed out right now. Don't pay attention to it. It's just a second, there you go. Okay, so we have present continuous passive describes an action that is in progress right now. Then you have a subject, the verb to be. Again, you conjugate the verb to be. And then you have been. Hmm. And then the past participle of a verb. And we have an example there. Too many trees are being cut down right now or these days. You can also say water is being contaminated. Now I want you to give me examples. Just follow this structure. This structure we have right on your screen. 
Let me choose somebody that doesn't talk too much. Beatriz? <laughs> Your face. Hello. <laughs> I'm thinking in a, in a example. Mm -hmm. I tried it. Um, I don't know. Give me, give me a minute. <laughs> okay, let me give you, uh, let me help you. As an object, let's use a plane or an airplane. Okay, as a verb, let's use land. So if you if you got it, you will have, for example, a subject. As a subject, I said um, a plane, right? Okay, a plane. That's a singular noun, so you have is, right? A plane is. Now we need the verb to be conjugated in the time, the tense that we're using, which is present progressive. So the present progressive is the same thing. Subject, verb to be, right? And then the verb in ING. Yes. But in this case, uh, you need a past participle. It's going to be- have, the... I have an example. Okay, give me just one second, Madeline. Okay. So the plane is being landed. Mm. You see? The plane yeah. is being landed. Uh, how would you translate that sentence? Me encanta contrastar la voz pasiva con el español porque tener mucho que ver. <laughs> so más fácil. So how would you translate that sentence? The plane is being landed. El avión está aterrizando. O está siendo aterrizado. There you go. The plane, el avión está siendo aterrizado. Right. There you go. Okay, Madeline. It's very strange. Yeah, my letters, very, very weird. Uh -huh. My letters are being sent on time to my customers. Are being sent on time. Perfect. My letters yes. are being sent on time. Great job. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah. Great job. Somebody else? The class is being recorded by the teacher. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Someone else, Darwin, Buddy, Violetta is copying everything and I send this picture to the WhatsApp group. Um, the empl many employers are being fired now. Many employees, repeat, many employees. Employees. Repeat, many, many employees, employees are being fired. Many. Okay. Many employees are being fired. 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 Uh-uh. Tarea. This girl is on fire. Hoy cuando fired? se baña antes de acostarse, canta esa canción. This girl is on fire. Okay, pero ahí decimos en, pas en pasado participio, ¿verdad? Fired. 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 Fire. Bien, hagamos una pausa, Ay. les voy a recordar, no sé si ya se los dije. En inglés no existe la R, la R right? Existe la R prácticamente, ¿ok? So, para formar una R en inglés, paso número uno, pongo mi boca como una U, U ¿ok? Número dos, mi lengua se enrolla hacia atrás, U, y produzco la R soltando la lengua, ¿ok? En lo que suelto la lengua. Ah, So I decimos... cannot say the letter R in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> para mí era difícil en segundo grado decir la R, R. Okay. I, cannot, so... I, I, I say trend. Trend? Trend. Trend. No. Tren. No. Oh, really? Hmm. Yes, Eso podría I ser un problema de... de, de... Yes. 
I cannot. Un problema vocal. My, my father and my, my grandparents they cannot uh, pronounce uh, that, that letter. Oh, okay. Because they are uh, Costa Rica citizens and in that in that country, the letter R is is negative. Is I cannot. You cannot say it. Okay. So, yes. um, entonces, enrollo la lengua y digo, mira, siempre mi boca va a ser una U. Okay. So you say rock. Repeat. Rock. Rock. Robert. 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 Okay. Cuando la, R es, cuando la R está en medio de una palabra como esa, ¿sí? tu boca eh, va a formar una U de igual manera. Es fired. 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 Yeah, better. Good, Veronica. Got it. Fired. Okay. So, yeah, many employees are fired. being fired. Are being fired. Very good. Okay. What is What? the meaning? Muchos fire? empleados están siendo despedidos. Ah, yes. Yeah, very good. Okay. Me too. La voz activa sería they are firing. Oye, they are firing many employees. Presente continuo. They are firing many employees. Many employees are being fired. Love the example. Okay, questions. Preguntas con, esa, con este tiempo en la voz pasiva. No questions? Oh my no, God. but we We're need missing. more, um, more examples. Ex yes. Examples, buddy. Okay. Where are, well, bueno, a ver, nos enfocamos, clavémonos con una cosa. Estamos usando el presente continuo. Entonces, tú recordás ahorita cómo se formula una oración en presente continuo. Sí. Cómo se formula una oración en presente continuo. More to first grade totally, Violeta. Muy bien. A ver, presente continuo. Sujeto, el verbo to be y el verbo ing. Eso es lo que te pide el presente continuo. Sujeto, verbo to be y el verbo ing. Y luego el complemento. Pues en este caso es muy similar, solo que en lugar de ese verbo ing, siempre vas a ocupar el verbo to be tal cual. Ojo con esto. Porque yo puedo, aquí faltó un ejemplo, aquí falta M, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se conjuga el verbo to be? M is art. So, I am being fired. I'm being fired. Uh -huh. Me están despidiendo. Ok. Good. ¿Ya más o menos, Vadi? Yes, teacher. Perfect, Be perfect. We began a plus a, the base for to so the verb. Uh, no, ok, el verbo to, el, uh, repito, a ver, el presente continuo cuenta con un sujeto, ok, el verbo to be conjugado, ¿sí? Y luego un verbo en ing, eso es lo que te pide el, verbo, el presente continuo, ok. Respetando eso, voy a aplicar la voz pasiva, es muy similar y por, por ende, el verbo to be se mantiene tal cual en ing, porque en la voz pasiva el que voy a conjugar es el verbo to be. No importa el tiempo que yo esté utilizando, si es pasado o lo que sea, esta conjugación la vamos, la vamos a mantener. So, sujeto, verbo to be, como lo pide el presente continuo, conjugado, y luego el verbo to be en ing. Ahí ya tengo el presente continuo. Para hacer la pasiva, Voy a agregar un verbo en pasado participio. So, she is being... No, es que, ojo con esto, el sujeto puede ser un poco confuso. Como les decía, usualmente es un objeto el que vas a ocupar. Ok, the weather woman. The weather woman is being changed. Next week. La chica del clima está siendo cambiada la siguiente semana. Mm. Pero sí. Así se puede. Uh,
Teacher, can I can I say the doors are being opened? Perfect. The doors are being opened. You got it. Las puertas están siendo abiertas. Abridas? No. Abiertas. Okay. Very good. Abiertas. Yes. Okay. A book is being written. A book is being read. I'm sorry. A book is being read by the students. Attack Veronica. What? In Lupango's major is being held behind bars. It's being held. Perfecto. Ah, gracias, Max. Este tiempo se ocupa mucho en las noticias. ¿Quieres escuchar mucho, muchos ejemplos? Pone CNN en inglés. CNN en inglés. And I just made a, an ad right now. Acabo de hacer un anuncio. Okay. Good, guys. Eh, bien, vamos a tener que llegar hasta casa a las 8.59. Ven lo que pasa cuando nos emocionamos con un solo tema, pero sí funciona, ¿eh? Entonces, clavémonos con este tema. Practíquenlo de ahora para mañana y mañana que vengamos, vamos a abrir la clase con muchos ejemplos de esto. Los voy a poner a que practiquen entre ustedes y alguien va a pasar al frente de la clase a dar sus ejemplos, ¿ok? I can do that with what? The news. Thank you. Thank you. We can okay. do that with news. With news? <laughs> I didn't... News. Oh, with news! Perfect. Thank you, Max. That's a great idea. I'll prepare that. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.